Hello world and welcome to chapter six of How Not to Write a Novel, which is a quick look into my writing process and my work in progress. I've got an appropriate t-shirt on today. It says I'm a writer. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but um, well, I have written books. Um, I'm not doing much writing today, unfortunately. I've been setting up a promo for a free book on Kindle, which will be the electronic version of this one, the first novel I wrote. Um, and that will be free for five days starting on Thursday. Um, I ended up having to take a photo of the book in order to post an advert on Facebook because apparently you need to have a image and I didn't have anything that was the right size and that's taken up most of the time that I would normally have spent writing today um, but I've got that done um, I also spent a lot of time wondering undecided if I should finish the chapter I was writing yesterday where it was and move on to a different character or if I should continue that one. Then I realised that quite often I end up rearranging chapters after I've written them all anyway. I, th I, th I find that it's best to write the most interesting chapters because they're the ones that the reader wants to read. If there's a chapter that you're not making progress on then it's possible that it's because it's not that interesting to you as a writer or well to me um, and that means it might not be that interesting to the reader as well so in that case it could be better to look for a way to skip that chapter to write a the next day or whatever to get around it or even to go to one character telling another about it if it's something that isn't that interesting to read but in this case, I know that I need to write the second part of that chapter and it is interesting. I just don't know if it's better to leave it until later. So I, was, I just couldn't decide. And then I thought, well, why not write the other chapter, then go back and finish that one. And I can leave a point there where I can break it in the middle after I've seen how long both of the chapters are and how long the average chapter in this book is. Um, because it's, it's, it is about pacing as well as about um, what's most interesting. I think that chapter as it stands already has a good hook in it, so I could continue with it or switch to something else. Both would work. So I'll write both of the bits that could come after it and then decide which order they go in. However, once I decided this, I'd distracted myself with too many other things, so I've only got a very short piece of this new chapter written. Um, I am hoping that later this evening I will have time to write some more of it, because as it stands right now, I've only got 116 words of a new chapter. I'm, I'm not calling it a new chapter, I'm calling it a new scene, because Putting scenes together to build chapters is something that I think is easier to do later. So I've got some scenes and I've given them titles, but whether or not they go in the same chapter or not... Yes, I fail at grammar. Whether they go in the same chapter or not um, is something I can decide once I've got all of them in front of me. I can look at the whole text of the book decide how many chapters it should be and then divide it up into roughly equal segments and see which of the scenes are thematically grouped into something that would make a reasonable chapter. It's not just about the order of events for the characters. Jumping between them can also be a way to group similar events together um, and to focus the reader's attention on a particular facet of the story. But 
at this point I am doing this NaNoWriMo method. So that basically means that I'll be writing the whole thing, right, well, writing all the scenes I find interesting, possibly missing some out to be filled in later, um, then put them in order, work out what the structure of the book's going to be. Uh, I'll probably be using the story grid for that. Um, I'm not going to talk about that right now because it would be easier to do that if I can actually show you the book and I haven't got it here with me. But um, the structure is something I will do later, so I shouldn't be worrying about it that much. It's just that I've distracted myself so much today worrying about it before I remembered that I don't actually need to. But while this um, is the start of a new chapter, I'll tell you what I'm writing about this time. I am actually jumping to a third set of new characters um, because I feel that I need to. The, there's, this might not be an ongoing character, but I feel like I do need to introduce the antagonist to this story. So I've come up with this chapter, which um, hopefully will get the reader just a little interested in the character I'm talking about. There was some kind of commotion outside, and it had reached the point where Lance Walker couldn't ignore it any longer. He walked over to the window and briefly struggled to manip manipulate the handle with shaking fingers. He knew he wasn't as dexterous as he'd once been, but it irritated him when he was delayed at something that should have been an urgent matter. Eventually, he managed to free the handle, pushed the window aside an inch, and then slammed it fully closed. The sound of incomprehensible swearing and barking dogs were muted. That should be sounds. But not entirely drowned out. Walker muttered under his breath, and with a snap pulled the blinds closed as well. So I'm hoping that just a couple of short lines is enough to give us an impression of who Walker is. Um, he's an older guy because he's not as dexterous as he once was. Either that or he's had some kind of accident. But um, it's probably... I, I expect the reader would assume that he's an older guy from that. W w is that what you'd think? Let me know. There's comments down there. Um, he's irritable. He thinks it's an urgent matter to close the window fully so that he can't hear somebody possibly getting hurt outside. Um, the first paragraph you might think he's going to the window to look out so he knows if he needs to call the police, but no, he's going to the window which is presumably open and a crack, um, opening it properly so that he can close it properly. He doesn't want to know. Um, so hopefully the reader doesn't necessarily like this Lance Walker. I'm not sure why I decided to make him that kind of character, because at this point I only know his purpose in the plot. But as I was writing him, it seemed a good way to introduce him and um, a way to get the reader's attention. I think it would all, it'll also possibly lead to some interesting dynamics later when we find out what the other characters think or thought about him. So um, that's all I've managed so far today. So I'd like to get this video finished and be able to continue writing so that I can get a decent number of words done today. So um, I hope you'll excuse me. This video's been 10 minutes, but I've done shorter before, and if you haven't seen them yet, you can check out the previous video. Um, there should be a link up here. Or subscribe to my channel. There should be a link somewhere around here. Or read the next, read, watch the next video um, if it's available yet. The link should be a link around here. Bye.